What's this up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got 2022 Panini Encased Football. Four box half case break pick is number four, where we're also giving away the Steelers, guys. So, again, how to win the Steelers? All you had to do was buy two teams in this break here to get a chance to win. So, you buy two teams, you get one entry. Four teams get you two. Six teams get you three, etc. If you only buy one team, you will not be entered. Uh, but again, this is the second half of the case, guys. So, I'm going to alphabetize it by customer name. And we'll see how many people got spots. So Brian Cordig got four, so that's two entries there. Uh, Brian S, two. Chris with three, so technically, obviously, Chris can only give you one entry. But you did get last spot mojo there for uh, the Buccaneers. Ed with two, Eugene with two, so that's an entry each for you guys. Uh, Matt with just one. Uh, Matt Johnston with the Packers, and then Matt L with two and then matt smith with five so technically matt smith i can only give you two so there's that all right that's five yeah peter ang two entry ryan with just one sean maddock two steve Locke two it's an entry there and then uh victor with two entry there and then William with just one there. So actually a lot of people did grab only one spot or even or an odd amount of spots. So it's just gonna be these customers here then guys. 13, right? So Victor, Steve, uh, Sean, Peter, Matt Smith with two. And now Eugene. Ed, Chris. Alright, there you go. Now we're gonna randomize the. Oh, sorry, what the hell happened there? We're gonna randomize the uh, the list, and roll. And it's a three and a five, eight times. Good luck, guys. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom, Matt Smith. Congrats, buddy. After eight times, you just won the Steelers. So let's delete this really quick. Boom. Two guys, I'm gonna quickly set the focus to 60. Got my sheet right here. There's about the Steelers now. And then obviously these are the four boxes here. Number four, Joe wrote on them. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. Damn. All right, hold on, guys. Gotta go get a trash bag. Save the encase cards for last, guys. Obi Wan, what's going on, man? Doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, Joe Mixon to 25 for the Cincinnati Bengals. Matt L. 
with that one. All right, we got a little, little sauce. Triple Relic to 99. Jets, Jets, Jets going to Matt Smith. And I was really shocked. I don't know what the Patriots are doing over there, but they only have, I think, still only one quarterback in the roster, which is Mac Jones. They cut Zappi and Cunningham, but they re-signed him to their practice squad. So I don't know if they're just going to call one of them up every week. But that was just very shocking. I know a lot of Zappi collectors were, like, a little upset. But... Future Wave, 35 out of 50. Man, remember everybody, just, I even thought, man, he might even have a chance to take Mac Jones' job maybe this year. But uh, William with the Patriots. And how about a little Zach Thomas just inducted into the Hall of Fame finally? Well deserved, 15 out of 35. Oh, did they sign Matt Corral? Wow, even shocking there. So Zappy goes down and Corral goes up? <laughs> man, that was horrible. Look, Matt Corral was a baller in college. It's just had some major injuries. And then, obviously, didn't get a shot last year. And then this year, obviously, they drafted a new quarterback. So, yeah, he was odd man out. But, I mean, good for him. Right? I mean, Zappi was, like, a, play, a chase player this year. And everybody last year, obviously, were in this class, didn't want Matt Corral. But now, wow, that's crazy. I got to look more into that. So, then when you have the Panthers, guys, you can get some Matt Corral. I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure Mac Jones is pretty safe and secure with his job for the most part. Still on that rookie deal, but obviously, you know, there's no telling that he'll be healthy, right? Nobody um, knows if any quarterback or any player will be healthy throughout the year, so. And Matt Corral is truly the backup. I mean, Zappi did have to come in a few games last year. You never know. Tannehill for the Titans. Steve with that one. We got Chris Olave future watch. Look at that. Beautiful. Saints. Matt Smith. Out of 15. Uh, Eric, I don't know who JSN is. If you want to spell it all out. Unless I'm just blanking right now in my head. Uh, Saints with Matt Smith. Little easy. Nice, look at that. Quad patches. 34 out of 50. Miami Dolphins going to Brian Cordick. Oh, Jackson Smith and the Jigba. Well, this is 2022, Eric, so he's part of the 2023 class. This is still last year's class product. So Panthers traded for the Pats third round pick and took Corral. Then the Pats took Zappi in the fourth. Oh, wow. That's crazy. And how about a little Josh Jacobs for the Raiders? Look at that. The blue ink, actually, like, you can't see it like this, but when you turn it, it actually really pops. Six out of 25. Very nice. Raiders going to Ryan. And I think he signed a one-year deal, right? So he's back with the Raiders. Not holding out anymore. All right. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, they're they're still releasing a couple of uh, of 2022 products. So, Volpe hit a home run today, right? He has 20 now. All right, Davis Mills out of 25. Houston Texas, Steve Locke. Garrett Wilson. Nice quad rally tonight. I love this dude. I, I, he, he could have a monster this year with Aaron Rodgers. <clears throat> Matt Smith. Another quarterback's going to get a chance to be the, the guy. One out of 50, Desmond Ritter. Yeah, he's a 2020 man, right? That's what they were saying. 
first rookie in the Yankees history, I think. I think the Yankees also called up a couple players, including Jason Dominguez this weekend, right? All right, Falcons, Brian. And last one here, Bob Greasy, and that is four out of eight, class of 1990 for the Dolphins. It's Brian Cordick. All right, last one, and then we'll go with all the encase cards. Yeah, well, I think that's the main reason why they're calling up a couple of these guys, right? I mean, maybe let's see how they're progressing, right? I mean, obviously, you want to be killing it in the minors to get, like, that that hype. But sometimes, you know, you never know, right? I mean, some people transition better playing with better players, better competition. So, hopefully, that's how it goes for Jason Dominguez. I have a couple of his first that I want to get rid of eventually for a profit. <laughs> Uh, Sean Maddock of the Chargers. John Dotson, future wave. Nice one there. Uh, 28 out of 50. I will say, I'm not going to say that all of them are chippy, but it seems like a lot of these color cards like this have been very solid. Usually when the color is all over the card, you usually see a lot of white chippings everywhere. But for the most part, these cards have actually looked pretty nice. Like the quality is actually good. And that's Commander's Brian Cordick. Christian Watson, he's a big fan favorite. He sells extremely well, man. I've pulled a lot of his big cards throughout this past year. Like, I pulled a, for a customer his one-on-one -on -one Black Finite. Sold for like 8,000 bucks. And that's gonna go to you, Matt. Johnson, there you go, man. And Richard White. Nice, two out of 15. For the bucks. Going to Chris, last spot, Mojo. He was, I almost drafted him. He was kind of in the fantasy board a lot up there. I think that's the main reason why Leonard Fournette didn't resign, right? Or they didn't resign him back. All right, here we go. And well, look at that. How about the autograph with that? Five out of 15. Notable rookie signatures, Christian Watson for the Green Bay Packers. Another one for Matt. Nice. Woo! How about a Kenny Pickett? Why the hell is Kenny Pickett signing with not black or blue ink? Did he only have silver pens? He did this for NT2 as well. All, either way, still a very nice hit though for Matt Smith and the Steelers. I'm just so just shocked why he's signing like this with these ink, with these different colored inks. 55 out of 99 notable rookie signatures. Yeah, speaking of Watson, Matt, yeah, there you go. I hit another one of his autographs. Wow, Drake London. 89 out of 99. Falcons, Brian S. Wow, three great cards so far. Two receivers and a quarterback. All right, looks like it's going to be another autograph. So no thick RPAs in this, but hopefully it's another nice auto. Woo! Another quarterback. How about Desmond Ritter? What a break for the Falcons here with the encase cards. Brian S. So Desmond Ritter, 5 out of 25 Sapphire autographs with the blue ink that pops. There's the uh, Drake London, Kenny Pickett, and Christian Watson. Very nice four in case cards right here, guys. This, is, this has been a good, this has been a fun product, guys. You know, obviously it's very tough to hit. Of course, there's only, a, what, three or four cards in the, in the one pack, in the encase cards. So obviously the odds are a little tough, but a lot of great teams for a low price that can get some massive hits, guys. So again, we do have another uh, case up on the website. So again, same thing. If you buy two teams, you get a chance to win the Steelers. Down to 26. Would love to do some more tonight, guys. Appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.